cloud uh, problem. Um, so uh, we'll be today for one hour and a half, and uh, we uh, will have um, a first introduction um, a discussion, and after that we'll have the chance to to have more interactive uh, discussion in three groups uh, uh, in a breakout room. But before that, I'd like to say some words about uh, the context of uh, our uh, meeting, because we organize uh, this training uh, in um, a European project. It's called SALSIFI. Um, the project is coordina coordinated by Urgency, European Network for uh, Community Supported Agriculture, together with partners from uh, um, different uh, European countries as France, Italy, Austria, Belgium, Spain, Hungary and uh, Romania. Only to have a um, border vision, we are at the end of the project. So in the last period, we prepare uh, the um, training module that uh, we start today. But uh, we think that it's important to know that uh, in our project, there are four modules uh, which um, uh, propose uh, the thematic of uh, empower advocacy work for community supported agriculture at a different level. So we have a, um, a module about European level, national level, local level. And today it's our module about Eastern and European um, uh, countries. So uh, if you are interested uh, to, to learn more about and to, to be in contact with other organizations, European organizations interested on this subject, we encourage you to consult the um, uh, web page and Facebook page of Urgency, where are uh, promoted uh, all these uh, modules, uh, which will be organized in the next, uh, in the next uh, weeks. Um, so, um, before to, to have a short presentation of uh, our team, because together I'm uh, with my colleagues uh, Noemi, uh, Natalie and Sam, I'd like to ask you to, to send in the chat a short message with uh, the country from where are you and your relation with CSA. If you are consumer, producers, or uh, you, if you are a teacher interested on uh, thematics, only to have an uh, idea about uh, the diversity of uh, the participant uh, of uh, today. So thank you in advance for this uh, this contribution. So my name is Mihaela. As I said, I am from Romania. I was involved since 2007. Uh, in uh, launched in Romania ASAT uh, model. And I pass the word to my colleagues, Noemi. Hi, hello everybody. Uh, I'm Noemi Ondac from Hungary, from uh, Association for Conscious Consumers uh, in Hungarian to the Vásárnok Egyesülete. And uh, I'm a member in a, a community supported agriculture initiative uh, named BS Zöldség Közösség. <laughs> and from Urgency, we have with us uh, Natalie, uh, Sam and Francois, if you want to say just a few words about you. Thank you, Mihaela, and welcome to everybody. So my name is Natalie, I'm the training coordinator in Urgency. And yeah, I've been involved in um, CSA since 2013 at some point. Unfortunately, not at the moment in the region where I'm, there's no CSA, but who knows, maybe it can happen. I'll pass it on to Sam. It's Natalie, and thank you, Mihaela and Noemi, and welcome everyone. It's really nice to see uh, a good sized group here. Um, we hope that you enjoy the training. Uh, my name is Sam. I'm also at Urgency. I'm the pedagogical designer. And so alongside the South CFE partners and Natalie and I, we've been designing and imagining these courses. So it's exciting to see them come to fruition. I also am not involved with the CSA since there isn't one near me, but I'm involved with some 
uh, direct selling farmers that are at least in the area. So I will uh, pass the ball over to our colleague Francois, if you want to say a few words. Yes, thank you, Sam. So I am Francois. Um, I am part uh, of urgency staff uh, for one year now as project manager. So I have joined uh, Salsifi at this moment. Uh, but I know urgency for more than 10 years now, and I am a CSA activist in the French movement for uh, 14 years now. So that's all from my side. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you all. Uh, if you have a look on the chat, you have a great diversity. You have uh, from Hungary, Romania, but also from uh, other non-European country. You have uh, colleagues from Korea. Welcome uh, to all of you. And now it's the moment to pass the word to Noemi to start uh, a little introduction in our subject. Yeah, hi, everybody. I uh, try to share my screen and... Uh... Uh, so because it will be easier to follow my presentation. Uh, so please let me know, is it uh, visible, uh, the slideshow? Okay, yes. so, um, so I will uh, talk a little bit about the various models of uh, LSPA. Uh, actually, um, this is a local solidarity-based partnership for agroecology. Um, because uh, um, you see here some uh, different terms and uh, definitions, um, but are uh, maybe uh, very uh, well known from you, but uh, they are sometimes, uh, we are sometimes very confused uh, which uh, terms, uh, about the meaning of uh, different terms. And now I try to give you a very short, um, picture, a clear picture about the uh, differences between these uh, different models. Uh, actually, uh, the LSPA, um, there are a lot of uh, LSPA models, but all, all of them are uh, uh, short uh, supply chain models. Um, so they are totally different uh, from long supply chain uh, models like uh, uh, the supermarkets uh, offer us. Uh, so you can see here uh, on the uh, graphic that uh, in a supermarket, if we buy if we buy food in a supermarket, um, the food uh, from farmer uh, to the fork has a very long uh, long travel. Uh, there are a lot of uh, participants, distributors in this system. But if we buy a food from a short supply chain, an LSPA uh, system, the model, uh, we have a very, very short uh, um, um, uh, supply chain, very short uh, um, uh, way uh, of the food. Why is it uh, important to care about LSPA? Uh, I think, uh, I hope uh, this, uh, this uh, map uh, present you a very, um, uh, uh, clear um, why is it important. So if we buy a food, a uh, vegetable, a fruit or something uh, in a local system from a local area, uh, it has a, a, a lower, uh, much lower um, uh, impact, uh, environmental impact uh, as uh, if we buy something from a, uh, something produced uh, in a very far um, uh, point of the world. So uh, this is uh, the reason uh, why we are uh, why we promote uh, uh, LSPA systems, LSPA models, and uh, uh, why we uh, ask you to help us to strengthen this uh, movement. Uh, now uh, I uh, uh, have some slides about the different models of uh, LSPA. So the first one is the box uh, schemes. Um, Actually, uh, it's very different to say very um, a strict uh, definition of what is box schemes, because uh, even in Hungary, there are uh, various types of box schemes. But uh, in general, we can say that uh, there is no commitment uh, between farmers and consumers in the box schemes. Uh, but uh, as a consumer, we can uh, we have a relative uh, direct link with the farmer. Uh, we uh, know uh, where the food comes and uh, how the farmer uh, uh, works, how the farmer uh, produces uh, the product. Uh, we can buy seasonal products and uh, low food kilometer products, uh, but uh, in most of uh, box schemes, we can buy also non-seasonal products and uh, products from uh, far away. Um, 
produce far away from my distance. Uh, and uh, these uh, systems are uh, more formal uh, as uh, the other systems, uh, but uh, I'm going to talk about uh, later. So for example, buying groups, um, uh, here is also, uh, this is a less formal uh, uh, LSP model, but uh, here is also no commitment between farmers and producers, but we have also a relative direct link with the farmer. We know where the food uh, comes, how the farmer, uh, uh, what kind of chemicals uh, pesticides the farmer use and so on. Uh, and uh, in this system, we can buy seasonal products and low food kilometer products um, uh, only. Um, this one. And what are the benefits uh, for, uh, for in buying uh, groups for um, farmers and consumers? Uh, you can see here that uh, if uh, a farmer uh, sell their products to the to a buying group, uh, can get higher prices uh, because um, uh, sell uh, directly uh, to the um, to the buying group to the to the consumers. Um, uh, and uh, can get uh, direct feedbacks from the from the consumers. For the consumer, the benefit uh, is uh, that uh, he knows the farmer and uh, the uh, food source uh, can get um, healthy local seasonal products um, and have flexibility. So if um, uh, as a consumer, I want to order uh, this week, I can order a veggie box, but if uh, not, uh, I can uh, um, postpone it to uh, next week. Uh, and what are the challenges? Uh, so for farmers, uh, this system um, is, uh, so it, uh, the finance, finances can be planned in this system, in this uh, system of selling. Uh, so uh, the farmer can't be sure uh, if uh, he or she can sell all the products uh, uh, on the week or in the month. Um, and uh, the consumer uh, is a challenge to, uh, to pick up the, the order, the veggie box uh, every time when he or she orders it. Another type is the pharma market. Uh, it is also, uh, there is uh, no commitment uh, between the farmers and producers, but we have a direct relation with producers. Uh, in Hungary, there is a, there is a, uh, uh, there is a rule that uh, we call farmer market uh, only markets where uh, the producers come from uh, uh, from an area uh, within 40 kilometers around the farmer market. So we know that um, these products uh, are really local products. Um, what are the benefits? So uh, farmers are direct link with consumers and get better price uh, here uh, than in the Warsaw market. Uh, for consumers, it's good because uh, we can buy a local seasonal product. We have a flexibility uh, to buy or not to buy. And um, uh, we can get uh, uh, to know the farmer. Uh, but uh, the challenges um, are actually almost the same as in the buying groups and book scheme. So for farmer, it's difficult to predict uh, the income uh, because uh, maybe he or she can't sell all the products uh, um, on the market and for consumers is um, uh, also so as a consumer we have possibility to know uh, the farmer to get a contact with the farmer but it depends from our personality so people who are uh, not so open not so talkative uh, maybe they won't uh, get so many information about uh, the farmer and the system of uh, production uh, another type of LSP is a farmer shop uh, here uh, uh, you can see a um, uh, very uh, exact uh, example uh, from uh, Romania, uh, from Amba Iulia. Uh, this uh, farmer shop is uh, managed by a cooperative. Uh, the cooperative was um, set up uh, by um, 17 producers. Uh, and uh, in, the, in this shop, uh, in the farmer shop, uh, you can buy products from... Uh, from these uh, producers from the cooperative, but also other uh, from other Romanian uh, uh, producers. What are the benefits and challenges here? So the benefits for the farmer is that uh, uh, they have a direct link with the, not not with the consumers, but with the organizer of the shop. Um, um, 
they get better prices uh, as on the wall or sell market. For consumers, it's good because they have information about the producers and they have the flexibility to buy or not to buy. And they can get the local and seasonal products. The challenges is, uh, are um, almost similar as uh, in the other recipes before, um, I talked before. So there is no commitment. The farmer can't uh, really plan um, with the financial income. Uh, and the consumers have uh, less contact with the farmer. Uh, and finally, we are at the CSA. Uh, and we think that this is the community supported agriculture uh, is the most, uh, uh, most it, it may be the better, the strongest uh, LSPA system uh, that we would like to support and uh, make more uh, stronger and uh, um, popular in uh, all, all, all the world. Um, actually, here is uh, here are commitment. Here are commitment between farmers and producers. So farmers and producers uh, re, uh, share uh, risk, responsibilities, and uh, rewards. Um, that is a direct link uh, uh, between the farmers and consumers. Uh, and um, we know, as a consumer, we know where the food comes uh, from, uh, and we can buy seasonal products and uh, really low food. Kilometer products. What are the benefits here? The benefits for farmers are um, uh, is that it's financial. It, uh, so this system is uh, financial sustainable, sustainable, uh, or more sustainable than the uh, other LSPA system. Um, uh, farmers really know the consumers. So here is a personal uh, contact between the consumers and farmers. They get direct uh, feedback from the consumers and. Um, uh, here, uh, uh, no products goes to waste because uh, all the products are uh, sold here. Uh, consumers, uh, for consumers, the benefits are uh, the following. So consumers know the farmer and uh, uh, how the farmer works on the field, what kind of chemicals he uses, and what kind of uh, uh, agriculture system he uses. Um, uh, consumers get healthy local products, and um, and it's an extra benefit that uh, here uh, as a consumer we can belong to a community. Uh, but here are also challenges. Um, for farmer for uh, for farmers is a big challenge, um, but it's also uh, in the, so in positive way also. So it's not uh, uh, in negative meaning um, that uh, they have to produce uh, uh, a larger scale of uh, a larger variety of uh, uh, products, vegetables or fruits. So 40, 60 uh, type of vegetables, for example. Um, uh, Yes, and um, beside of uh, farming, uh, they need to have, uh, or it is good if uh, he has, he or she has uh, other skills, so for example, communi communication skills or uh, community um, uh, organizing uh, skills. For consumers, the challenges are uh, that, um, so if we are a member in a CSA initiative, uh, we have to cook actually every week. Uh, and uh, uh, and sometimes we get such uh, products, such uh, uh, materials we have uh, never seen uh, before, and uh, we have to learn new uh, uh, receipts, uh, how we can use them. Uh, and uh, yeah, of course, uh, we have to pick up the share every week. Uh, so that's also um, sometimes a challenge. Uh, actually, that was my uh, presentation. And um, I uh, haven't, I have forgotten to uh, say to you that to, to mention that um, now uh, Mihaela we have another presentation and then uh, me too, again. And uh, if you have any question, please write into the, into the chat. Uh, and at the end of the third presentation, we will collect all the questions and uh, we will answer them. Okay. So feel free uh, to uh, ask in the chat, put your questions into the chat. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Noemi, for uh, this uh, introduction. Now um, we wanted to to have in mind uh, different diversity of um, short supply chain uh, 
as uh, Noemi discussed, uh, we take in consideration some criteria, commitment of consumers, uh, transparency, uh, production practices, uh, distance, and we try to, to make a short differences uh, among uh, different uh, initiatives. Now I like to, to make you a short uh, introduction about history, Assad history in Romania. And uh, I would like to invite you to, to imagine that we are in 2007. So uh, uh, quite a long time ago, almost uh, 15 years. And uh, because in 2007 was the first moment when uh, we start to, to make uh, the first presentation of uh, this model in Romania. In fact, uh, the presentation were made uh, coordinated by Urgency, uh, which uh, invite some producers and uh, CSA activists who arrived in Romania and make uh, different uh, presentation. I'd like to say to underline that uh, at that moment, our motivation to, to be part of this movement was to, to sustain um, uh, Romanian agriculture, because uh, for sure you know that uh, we still have a good agriculture uh, sector in Romania. In fact, uh, Romania, it's uh, um, uh, the country with the most population from Europe, which live in a uh, rural area. Uh, we had a tradition of uh, short supply chain in Romania, but started to, to be destroyed. And uh, we um, was very interested on this model in order to keep what was good uh, in uh, our tradition and to, to sustain the producer to, to remain in a model of uh, sustainable agriculture because there was a lot of pressure to, to uh, enter in more productive productive and industrial agriculture model. You know that you have the problem of land grabbing in Romania and uh, also uh, this model of in the industrial uh, agriculture, a lot of pressure. So um, I, would, uh, uh, I will present you some, some moment of uh, Assad, um, Assad development in order to understand uh, which was the a specificity in uh, in Romania, because in other country of Europe, uh, CSA movement is a movement uh, managed by producer. It was not the case in Romania, because in our situation, uh, at least in the first part of the um, the piloting phase, was more a model driven by consumers and uh, a specific organization, CRIES, which is an organization involved in social solidarity economy, um, which is um, was established in Timisoara in 2009. Uh, with the idea to promote responsible consumption, community-supported agriculture, fair trade, and uh, social uh, enterprise. And the uh, organization um, was and is still involved in um, some um, uh, specific uh, pilot project related uh, of thematic of food as ASAT, but, uh, but also CREAS coordinate uh, educational program to promote responsible consumption in schools. We organize a festival, a past festival for uh, artisanal uh, gastronomy, and uh, some members of CREAS are involved in launching a social enterprise, uh, Reciproc, which uh, promotes products from small producers, organic products and fair trade, and another social enterprise intersect to fight uh, food waste. Uh, Sorry to interrupt. I was just, yes. I just want to let you know that if you can uh, put the presentation in presentation mode, um, and it will be a full screen on the Zoom. So on the bottom right. Yes, yes, just a moment. Sorry, I wasn't. Uh... There's a button on the bottom toolbar all the way toward the right. If you go down, if you put your cursor at the bottom of the screen, the bottom of the PowerPoint screen. Yes, just a moment. 
な。It is better now. Um, it still looks the same to me, but there is if you just go to the bottom of the screen on the PowerPoint window, and there are little buttons on the bottom right of the bar. So not on the top, not on the top toolbar, but on the bottom below the slides. So put your cursor in the sort of bottom right corner. So if you go over to the, not that button, but the third one from that on the right. I'm not, uh, sorry. În dreapta jos al treilea buton. Dreapta de tot, colțul dreapta jos. That one right there, yeah. It is better now or no? No, it hasn't changed. No. Because I do like, uh, I'm not sure what to do. It might be easier to just exit the PowerPoint and then come right back in and then click that button. Once okay. You... What's the one? There it is. It's okay now? Yeah. Ah, thank you. Sorry for this. Um, so uh, for me, it was important to say about uh, CREAS in order to understand that uh, for us, uh, CSA uh, was a very important tool to promote social and solidarity uh, initiatives. And um, it was... Um, uh, promoted as a tool to combat pro poverty and support a very small producer disadvantage on the, the market, but which was very interested in uh, sustainable uh, agriculture uh, practices. And uh, the, um, the development of ASAT in Romania was inspired by French model and was based on uh, a map uh, charter. Uh, so, so um, in the first uh, phases, because we are in 2007, the existence of this kind of model was very, very difficult to, to accept in Romania. It was um, difficult to imagine that a group of consumer with engage and support a producer will pay in advance, will share the risk. And for us, it was very, very important to, to communicate, educate, and raise awareness about, uh, about the model. But uh, not only the model, but about the problems uh, which um, are for uh, producers, uh, which are facing on uh, agriculture, the limit of the, the um, political uh, system to support uh, um, a small producer. So we organize more than 100 uh, public pr presentation about uh, um, uh, Assad model in big and small cities in uh, Romania. 
We try to create alliances as much as possible. We organize personal meetings, fields visit. Uh, we visit a lot of producer, uh, explain the model for um, even for them was difficult to to accept and to to imagine that uh, this kind of model is possible. Um, we um, uh, organize meeting uh, with schools, uh, doctors, because uh, since the beginning, uh, some very important alliance in Romania was uh, doctors, nutrition uh, doctors, who help us to promote the importance of healthy food. And uh, some um, important NGOs from different uh, parts of Romania who became partners in uh, promoting this, uh, this model. Uh, also for us was important since the beginning to, to, to try to introduce uh, this subject in different curriculum. So now uh, today ASAT is presented in an um, educational program to promote responsible consumptions in schools, but uh, in pre-university uh, education, but also we organize meeting with students and uh, university. And uh, at the beginning, I have to say that in the first period, mass media was uh, very interested on uh, this model and helped us in a good uh, communication and um, information of public about, uh, about this. Also, we organized visits and sharing experience. To be honest, the first producer um, uh, which started in Timisoara, he accepted to, 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 to start the first Assad after he participated in a visit in France. He met uh, other producers uh, involved in Marseille. Uh, he met consumers and had uh, and uh, he saw uh, how the model function. And after this visit in France, he accepted to to start and to to pilot. Uh, also, we had uh, participation in different um, in different meeting organized by urgency. Uh, at European and international level, and all the time was a good moment for us to understand uh, better um, uh, the model, our mission, and the way to, to build and to develop um, in uh, our country. Uh, as I said, uh, we had as uh, inspiration the French model, but of course uh, we cannot copy paste uh, in uh, Romania this uh, model. So we pilot for three years in Timisoara. And uh, after this period, uh, since 2011, we support the multiplication of the model also in uh, other city in uh, Romania with the support of CRIES Association and uh, volunteers, uh, we call the promoters, ASAT promoters, which are involved in uh, developing uh, this kind of partnership in other uh, city in uh, Romania. Um, in 2014, we decided to, to develop a distinct organization, distinct from CRIES. Uh, it's called ASAT as an association with the idea to, to manage Assad social brand and also to promote the model at the national, uh, national uh, level. Just some, um, some information about Assad in uh, Romania. They are um, updated information a level of 2022. We have t still now uh, 23 vegetable producers uh, who are part of Assad network. 12 of them are women. More than 2,000 uh, consumer family who uh, signed contract with Assad uh, producers. So our estimation is that more than 10,000 uh, people people uh, benefit uh, from vegetables and uh, other products delivered uh, in uh, Assad system. 
and more than uh, 80,000 uh, basket of vegetables was distributed weekly in uh, Assad during the last year. Before to, to finish, I know that uh, there are uh, uh, other initiatives in Romania which were inspired by Assad because as uh, Noemi said, um, Assad it's the most um, of, I don't know, um, difficult and uh, it's the model who required a lot of uh, investment from uh, consumers and the producer side. But uh, we know that in um, Romania, there are also other initiatives was, uh, which were inspired by, uh, by uh, Assad. So for the moment, I will stop here. Uh, we prepared a larger presentation, which will be available of uh, e-learning platform about uh, a different part of uh, Assad, contract, and other elements which are specific um, in, uh, in our model. And uh, I will um, let Noemi to explain uh, what is the situation in Hungary. Thank you. Uh, thank you for your presentation. Uh, actually, um, um, our history is a bit similar <laughs> as uh, from the Christ and Assad in Romania. Um, Uh, so, Tudatos Vásárlat Egyesülete, a TV, uh, is uh, an association uh, uh, in Hungary, and uh, we are working since uh, 2001 in uh, Hungary uh, on a country level. Actually, I try to be very short, and uh, this presentation will be available on the self learning platform. So, uh, I just uh, um, uh, tell you very um, uh, few only few, few information about our organization because the time is short. So the goal of our organization is uh, promoting ethical and uh, uh, environmental sustainable and uh, social conscious uh, consumption in Hungary and help people to change their lifestyle in uh, this way. Uh, we are four uh, main uh, area or topic uh, we are working on. One is uh, our uh, online magazine. It's a lifestyle uh, magazine, um, uh, Then uh, we have uh, laboratory uh, product. We make laboratory products test. Uh, we have a program uh, called Eco Teams. So it's a behavior change program and. Um, uh, we uh, promote a community supported agriculture. And besides of them, uh, uh, we have a lot of campaigns, researches, um, uh, apps, uh, events, and so on. Um, here are the, these four main areas we are working with. Um, on tudatosvásárló.hu on our website, um, an online magazine, uh, we have more than 1 million visitors uh, a year. We have here uh, articles, videos, infographs, uh, and uh, so on in databases. Uh, we have a chemical app and a food app. You can download it and uh, search for a uh, greener product. Um, uh, on uh, our other website, you can find uh, the results of uh, laboratory products tests uh, that help you to choose a better uh, uh, um, household uh, machines, for example, vacuum cleaner, uh, dishwasher, coffee machine, and so on. But we make a laboratory products test also with uh, uh, chemical, household chemicals, like uh, dishwashing detergents or uh, washing powder and so on. Um, yeah, so you can uh, uh, read a lot of information on our website. Um, in, in 2009, we started the, the behavior change program EcoTeams. It, uh, it's actually an international project, it international program project, and uh, we adapted it uh, into Hungary. And uh, it's a, a small group uh, learning uh, program. Uh, actually, people uh, met each other in a, met in, in a small group uh, every week. Uh, during, uh, I don't know, during um, uh, one month or two months long period. And uh, uh, in this group, they learn uh, new practices, new green uh, lifestyle practices, uh, how they can reduce the ecological footprint, uh, also in uh, in the cleaning uh, they uh, household in, and also in, uh, in the eating. So we have the clean home eco-teams and the eco-teams pantry. 
um, and uh, what's the uh, main um, strengths of this project that uh, uh, the behavior change of eco teams uh, part uh, participants it's measurable so we ask people uh, at the beginning of the eco teams to measure uh, how many uh, for example how many uh, food they threw away, how many meat uh, they uh, produce, uh, they uh, consume or eat, uh, or how many vegetables they eat, and we ask uh, these also at the end of the eco team uh, at the end well, of the six I'm weeks. Sorry to, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt again. Um, yeah. It looks like the we're not able to see the slides that you're showing. You are not able to see. Oh, we just I... see the we just see the welcome screen. So you have you see the first one. Just the just the welcome screen, yes. Maybe if you try again and then try to put it in presentation mode again. Mm -hmm. Okay, just um... Now uh, you can see. Uh, You're no longer sharing your screen, so. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Uh, Now, we can see the slides now. Yes, okay. and that looks great. It's great. Oh, so thanks, Wendy. Okay, then, but <laughs> so you will, uh, you can, you can uh, see it uh, in the self learning platform. You can find the, the whole PPT on the self learning platform. Yeah. So here are our main uh, uh, activities. So the online uh, magazine, the, the laboratory test, the eco teams the program, and the CSA. So yeah, yeah, it is the eco teams uh, the results of uh, the measurable results of behavior change program. So as I mentioned, we ask people to measure their consumption, uh, and uh, so you can see here that. Uh, um, Actually, uh, after the eco teams, they have a measurable uh, um, um, behavior change. So uh, they um, produce less meat, they uh, throw away less uh, food. So it's a really uh, um, uh, effective program. And uh, the CSA, Community Supported Agriculture, so we promote this, uh, 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 this uh, topic. So we make trainings, presentation, uh, videos, uh, we connect farmers and consumers, and uh, we promote uh, uh, CSA topic uh, in national media. So here you can see the history of uh, CSA movement in Hungary. It's uh, actually similar uh, as uh, in uh, Romania. So, um, before 2006, there were two initiatives which were similar, uh, which were C uh, CSA initiatives. But at that time, maybe the the needs uh, in the social in the so society wasn't so high, so they uh, uh, stopped uh, these um, initiatives. And in 2009, um, TVE, uh, our organization, uh, invited French farmers, French AMAP farmers, and uh, we organized presentations about CSA model. And actually, from uh, this time, so from 2009, 2010, um, a new uh, CSA initiative uh, started up in uh, Hungary. Uh, and now we have uh, uh, about 20, 20 uh, CSA initiatives uh, all around in uh, Hungary, uh, which uh, are uh, based on AMAP system. Um, yes, so we have on our website a map. Uh, you can find here uh, uh, CSA initiatives uh, near uh, you, so you have uh, you can see uh, where you can uh, join, and uh, we organized uh, this year the third uh, community supported agriculture day in Budapest. It was very um, very interesting with very interesting people and uh, enthusiast uh, people, farmers and consumers. So it was a very uh, nice event. 
Okay, so that's all. Um, so if you have any question, you can put into the chat. Um, and uh, but now we can go. We will go on uh, with the breakout room uh, uh, session because until now you could only listen to us, but we would like uh, let you uh, also to uh, talk a bit and share your experiences. So uh, I will put into the um, into the chat a link, a Jamboard link. So maybe you know this platform, but before. Uh, uh, getting lost to you, uh, I share uh, the screen and uh, uh, I share you, uh, I present you what uh, we are going to do there. So Sam uh, will uh, uh, divide you in three groups. So there will be a group A, B, and C. Uh, and uh, in uh, each group um, you have, so now you can see my uh, screen, in each group, uh, you, you will get to this, uh, you will get the link of this uh, Jamboard platform and the group, uh, so each group has the same situation. So you are a member in a, you are a member in a CSE initiative with 20 uh, people or 20 consumers, uh, but there are uh, more free places for uh, 15 people. Uh, and uh, you would like to have a farmer to recruit more members. And uh, please uh, think about uh, how would you do this? And uh, your task task is uh, to discuss in the group um, this um, this question. Uh, the group A has the question: What kind of information do you need from Assad or TV or uh, from the organization in your country? And what uh, kind of information do you need from the farmer to uh, to can promote your initiatives? Uh, we uh, kindly ask you to. Um, to uh, be as concrete as you can. So um, we don't write only, um, I promote it in the, on the Facebook, uh, but, or I share the, the promotion in the Facebook, uh, but you try to think about in concretely in what kind of Facebook groups you are going to share uh, the promotion or so on. And you can do it uh, so that uh, uh, you can write here in the sticky notes. Uh, just click on it and type it, uh, your uh, text. Uh, if you need more uh, sticky notes, you go on the uh, left side of the left uh, left side of the page. Uh, you click on this. Uh, you have this uh, so, uh, this uh, small uh, window. Write here something and put here. Yeah. Uh, so this is the way how you can uh, make your notes here. Um, the group B, uh, we have the question, where would you promote your, you have the same situation, but the question is, where would you promote your initiatives? Please collect examples as concrete as possible. Uh, sorry, I, I mixed the question the, from the group A and B. So here you have to write, where would you uh, promote uh, your initiatives? Yeah? So, and uh, write as uh, concrete as, as possible. And the group C has the question, what are the potential mistakes and what are the solutions uh, in promoting your initiative? Yeah, so please think about it and discuss in your group. So uh, you will be divided in three groups, uh, each uh, group. Uh, so you get the link and uh, please go to the, your slide. Uh, you will see the name of your group on, your break in, on the top of the screen of your break, breaking room. Uh, and uh, please, uh, you will have, uh, I don't know, uh, maybe uh, fifth, yeah, so, so 10, 15 minutes. Uh, and uh, please um, write here your notes and choose one person who will uh, um, make, a, who will present the results of your discussion at the end of uh, the breakout rooms. Yeah? So at the, at the breakout room, you will come back and we will uh, see. Um, with each uh, the, the result of the discussion of each groups. Uh, okay, and now I uh, put the the Jamboard link into the chat, uh, and uh, you can uh, click on it. Oh, okay, sorry. So, uh, thank you, Natalie. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so please uh, go into the chat on the chat. Uh, click on this Jamboard link, and then uh, please um, Sam uh, share the uh, participants into the breakout room. So before uh, going into breakout room, please uh, click on the gym boarding because uh, when you are in the breakout room, you can't see the chat.
So we, we hope that uh, we had good discussion in uh, the groups. And for the next few minutes, we'd like to invite uh, the one person from each group to share with us uh, some ideas uh, about uh, your discussion. Noemi will share the, the um, slide. So for the group uh, A, um, we remember that uh, this time was short, yes, <laughs> but they uh, already had a uh, good result. Uh, what kind of information would need uh, in order to promote uh, 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 CSA and to find the new new consumer? Edina, you was in what group? I was in group B. And you want yeah. to share uh, later? No, 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 no. Um, this was my message to. I'm really sorry. I forgot the name, but I'm pretty sure that he knows. Uh, was it? Was it Sergio? I'm not sure. I was with Carola, Giuseppina, and uh, yeah, I got it. Okay, it was Tudor. Okay. So I, I wanted to, I just uh, was in the middle of something to tell Tudor uh, how to reach reach more people. And uh, we just uh, uh, got off of the line uh, because getting back to this, uh, this page, I'm sorry. So who like to, to say some words about uh, the results from group A? Getting back to school, you might pick someone, I guess so. Francois, were you in group A? Um, sorry, yeah, I'm not very attentive. Some stuff to do as well, uh, some more, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... Well, sorry, I have not a well overview of uh, what uh, was suggested in the group A. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have any volunteer uh, to, to share with us the result, we still have the work uh, here on the slide and you can consult also uh, after our uh, meeting. As I uh, see, I look a little bit very uh, quickly. We saw that it will be important to have information about loyalty in the group for how many uh, years the consumers stay, which are the differences between CSA and other initiatives Initiatives, what kind of positive and negative uh, impact as uh, already um, uh, Noemi presented in uh, the previous slide. Uh, also was a good suggestion to organize uh, a meeting in a farm. All, all the time it's good to be in the place where the producer work to see the, the way the producer work and uh, to have uh, some programs for uh, newcomers in order to let a little bit uh, the possibility to taste and to understand step by step the specificity of the project. So uh, we thank you for your discussion um, and for uh, your input. We propose to go to the question uh, two for the group B. Uh, the the question was, uh, where would you like to promote your uh, initiatives? So we know what kind of information to present. And uh, um, um, your task was to, to help us with some suggestions about possible tools to, to promote the information. So we would like uh, someone who 
like to present shortly the result of the group from group sure. B? Yeah. Please. Thank you, Tudor. So also, if anyone from the group wants to jump in, please do. So there's a few ideas on uh, where to promote it. And uh, so it's a general concept in like-minded groups. So for example, Edina, she's in a zero waste community um, or people interested in zero waste. They're generally people with green habits, I don't know, who are about responsible consumption, reducing uh, impact and stuff like this. So it can be different groups, but generally there people tend to be more interested in hearing, hearing about this and maybe even buying and connecting to a local farmer. Um, then there's events which you could organize or events which are organized and then you can come in and tell people about it, maybe have a discussion on it. So like seed, seed exchanges, gardening courses, maybe yoga gathering. Uh, there's this kind of producer markets uh, where there's other produce than, uh, gardening, than uh, garden products like, I don't know, clothes or household use stuff. And there you could also come in with a leaflet and maybe some veggies to promote it. Of course, there's social media, which is really important these days. So Facebook and Instagram, make a page, keep updates on what you're doing, and then it will slowly reach more people. Uh, maybe TikTok was a discussion because it reaches a lot of people. Doesn't The algorithm doesn't discriminate, but then it comes with some risks, but it's a possibility. Um, there was the mention of promotion even in environments where people are not remotely familiar with this concept, like maybe academia or other environments where people don't think about it, who knows, maybe you get someone interested. Uh, organizing events specifically about this, it could be at the farm or in the city. Uh, then there's uh, municipality newspapers where you can advertise for free, at least in Hungary, somewhere in the group was saying, maybe it's the same in Romania, I don't know, but local newspaper. Um, then there's, I, there's mom groups where uh, mothers are often interested in healthy eating, the same for them and the children. So where there's moms, there could be maybe more interest. So that's our thoughts. Thank you, Tudor, and uh, thank you, your, your colleagues, for the, um, the discussions. So the idea is also to reach people who are interested on thematic, but also you had some idea about people who are not so uh, uh, interested or aware about the um, our topics. And uh, all the time, I think it's different how you communicate to people who already are uh, aware, informed, and people who are not. Uh, thanks a lot. And for the group uh, C, uh, we uh, had uh, a task, uh, what are the potential mistakes in uh, communication in uh, uh, reach uh, new consumers and uh, what kind of solutions? But I think that um, you don't have uh, any kind of um, results to share in this moment maybe we can take the reflection and to 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 introduce information in uh, the next period uh, if you wanted to 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 think about this because um, uh, we promote this subject because with uh, Wana, our Assad producer from Timishara, we had a specific uh, example of uh, misunderstanding in communication. We faced some problems and you think that it's very important to, to be aware about some risk if you use some instruments, some tools to, to communicate our initiatives. So uh, thank you all for uh, this uh, this um, uh, group uh, working moment. 
Uh, we know that the time was short, but uh, it was important a little bit to have this space to to knew better and uh, work a little bit on this thematic. Uh, I think we are very close uh, uh, to the ending of uh, our uh, meeting, and we are pretty good because uh, we have the chance to to finish in time. But before to close the meeting, I will ask Sam to present some information about e-learning platform because we will receive a link in order to access the platform and some uh, will offer um, more information about it so thank you thanks Mihela. yes i just wanted to briefly give uh, a little bit of information about the self-paced learning component of this training so there'll be three online modules to which you all have access and uh, either tonight or tomorrow morning, you'll all receive a link where you'll be registered onto our Moodle platform. And the only thing you'll need to do is just change your password and then you'll have access to the course. Now the course itself is, um, as I said, com composed of three separate online sessions, but it should take you no longer than 60 minutes to complete the entire thing. So what we're asking is if you could walk through those uh, self-paced learning modules uh, before we meet again for our final live session, which will be on the 17th of May, I believe, Wednesday, the 17th of May, uh, at the same time. Was there anything else, um, Natalie, that you wanted to say about the Moodle platform? Yeah, I think just watch out in your emails. Um, for for an email eventually maybe it ends up in the spam because it comes from our Moodle platform so I, I would watch out for that and then you can just uh, click on the link and um, create your just access create a change your password and access the course from there so we hope that you'll enjoy um, going through the online module as well yeah the Moodle sorry I'm just responding to Adina here Moodle is a <laughs> It's called a learning uh, management system. It's an LMS system. So it's essentially just a platform that hosts self-paced learning courses. It's quite simple to navigate, as you'll see once you arrive on the platform. And we actually build our courses in a separate software, which we then embed into the Moodle platform, um, which you'll see that uh, Noemi and Mihela have spent a, a long time and a, a good amount of effort putting together in their extremely informative um, and they're very low stakes as well. So we hope that you enjoy them. Yeah, and I think it shouldn't take you more than maybe an hour or so. I know Mihaela and I know Amy, what you say, like it's it's not a very long course, but it has, a, I think the essentials um, of for you to, to dive into the topic, so. Yes, we encourage to take your time. You don't propose one hour or uh, more hours, but uh, um, we try to put good resources, not uh, to to put together because after 15 years, uh, we had some uh, resources and tools uh, to that we wanted to to share with you. So we encourage to to have the time to have a little a list, a lit, uh, look. And uh, before to, to finish the meeting and to say goodbye, don't forget that we'll have the next uh, meeting in 17 May, the same hours. I will not say the hours because it's different Hungary, Romania, France, but the same hours as today. And uh, I let the, the floor to Noemi for a little, little uh, ending uh, moment. Yeah, so uh, thank you very much for coming and participating on our first webinar <laughs> in uh, Eastern Europe about CSA. Uh, we kindly ask you to uh, go to this uh, link I uh, sent you in the chat. Uh, this is the menti.com. This is a, a website and you have to type here this code. Uh, it's written here. And then you will get the question uh, and please answer this question. So actually, we ask you to send uh, one, two, or maximum three words about your experiences uh, uh, about this uh, training uh, uh, today. So give us a short feedback. Uh, I will share the screen, uh, so we will uh, see the word cloud um, of your uh, with your feedbacks. And uh, thank you very much for coming.
Thanks a lot for the opportunity. Yeah, thanks. Thank it's you. a good meeting. Thanks, everyone. And like I said, just a look out in the next day or so um, for the registration link. Thank you very much. Nice for the uh, thank you very much for the nice uh, feedbacks. And if you have any uh, idea or uh, uh, or um, uh, input you would like to share with us about this webinar, how we could make it uh, better or improve it, uh, don't hesitate to uh, send us an email for uh, Mihaela or for me. So uh, all the uh, feedbacks are welcome also later. <laughs> Yes, and uh, thank you. So, yes. Bye, Dina. So I think it's all. You want to share something, some ideas, or you want to finish and close? Hold on, just let me just stop the recording.